Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw rip jaws from Ben 10. We get started at the top of our page with the gum line. So in the center, start with a point. From this point we're going to draw a curve coming down and then back up. We'll go to the right side and do the same thing. Now we're going to add two more along the sides. Now in between these sockets, we're going to add the teeth. So from the center, I'm going to curve out towards the left and then up. From the center, we'll go out towards the right and then up. Now I'm going to taper this down towards the top point of the gum line. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other socket. Going up and then tapering back down towards the point. And then we'll add one last tooth going up and then back down. From the corner of the tooth, we come down in a curve on both sides, and then I'm just going to angle up and out with a short line. Just above the outside tooth, we're going to add the eyes. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to curve in and then down. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the eye. From the outside, we're going to curve out and then pull that back up towards the inside. Now let's draw on the top of the head. Just above the left eye, I'm gonna curve up in the middle and then back down over the right eye. We're gonna curve down the side of the neck. Starting on the left, we'll curve out and then down. Let's take these two points, curve down and in towards the center point. Now let's add in the lower jaw. From the left side, curve in and then down towards the chin. And then we'll round out the bottom of the chin. From the left, we'll curve down and then back up. Let's add a few lines along the chin. Starting with the center, we go straight up, go to the left side, draw another shorter line, and then the same thing on the right. Now let's move to the top of the head and add the antenna. From the center, we'll move over towards the left. We're going to curve up and out towards the right, towards the top of the antenna. Now we're going to flop this down, curving over and then down. We're going to round up the end. Now we're going to pull that back up, following that same curve, going up. Now we're going to curve down and in towards the top of the head, coming in an angle and then straight down. Let's separate out the tip of the antenna with a curve. Now we're going to add some gills along the bottom of the neck. Starting from the center, we'll step down, start with a point. From this point, we're going to angle up and out towards the left, and then the right. Now we're going to come down with a short angle, and we're going to go back up. Let's take that and duplicate it right below. So starting with the center, we'll step down, angle up and out towards the left and right down with a short angled line and then we're going to go back up. Now from here we're going to work our way around the shoulders. From this corner of the neck we're going to curve out and then down towards the left and then the right. Let's round out the shoulder. From this point we're going to do a hard turn curving it around and then in. From here let's curve up and in towards the chest. Now we're going to layer the chest in behind the shoulders. From this point, we're going to step back, curve down and in towards the base of the chest. Now let's connect these two points with a curve, going up in the middle and down on the right. Now let's add the trim along the upper shoulders. From the side on the left, we're going to go up in an angle towards the head. We'll do the same thing on the right side. From here, we're going to curve down and in just above the chest line. And we'll connect these two points with a straight line going across. Now let's draw on the sides of the body. From the corner of the chest, we're gonna curve down and then in towards the hip on both sides. And we're gonna come straight down with a short line. In between these lines, right in the center, we're gonna add a circle starting from the top 
way around to the bottom and then back to the top. Now let's layer the belt in behind that circle. Starting from the left, we're gonna curve down and then in and then back up on the right side. Now from these points, we're gonna follow that same curve going in behind the circle. Let's trim the circle on the inside. So we're gonna step in, just drawing a smaller circle. Now we're gonna add the symbol. From the center, we we'll move over to the left, draw a point. To the right, we'll draw a point. Now from this point, we're gonna angle up and out toward the left and right. And we're gonna come down and out towards the sides. And then we're gonna fill these two areas in black. Let's add in the rib cage. From the left, I'm gonna curve up in the middle and then back down. Now from these two points, I'm gonna curve up and out. Let's continue working down with the legs. From the bottom of the belt, we're gonna curve out the thigh. Now we're just gonna pull that back in. Do the same thing on the right, going out and into the same height. From here, we're just gonna draw an angled line going up and in for the kneecap. Now from here, we're gonna layer on top the cloth that hangs down in the middle. From the hip, we'll step down. We're gonna curve in and down towards the center, all the way down towards the bottom. Go to the right side and curve in and down towards the bottom. Let's add a little bit of detail to the belt strap. From the circle, we're gonna step out, draw a short line, do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna follow the curve of the belt going out on the top and bottom. Let's add a little bit of detail to the cloth. So in the center, we're gonna step down, start with a point. From this point, I'm gonna angle up and out towards the left and then the right. I just want to trace this out just below it. There's a thin strip. Let's move down and do that again. Starting with the center, angle up and out. And then we'll trim this out just below. I'm going to do that one more time. Down the middle, up and out towards the left and right. And then trim it out along the bottom. Now from the knee, I'm gonna take this line, leave a gap, and just go all the way in behind the cloth. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. Stepping in, angle up and in. Now we're gonna draw the inside of the leg. From this point, I'm gonna curve in, go back out, and we'll pull it straight down towards the heel. Do the same thing on the right. Curving in, out, and straight down towards the heel. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the foot. From this point, I'm gonna curve across and then down towards the left. Now I'm gonna taper this back up, curving up the first claw. From this point, I'm gonna step out, curve out and down the second claw. And then from here, I'm gonna curve this in towards the ankle, curving up and then in. I'm gonna take that and flip it over on the right side. Starting from the heel, we'll curve out and then down. Now I'm gonna taper this back up and over. From this point, I'm gonna step back Curve out and then down, and taper this back up and in towards the ankle. Now from the top of the foot, I'm gonna round out the side of the leg in behind the knee. Going up and then just pulling that in. Now I'm gonna separate out the claws. On the outside, I'm just gonna draw a curve going in and then back out the same thing to all the toes. Now I'm going to connect the points of the claw with a little bit of webbing, curving in and then back out. Let's add a fin to the back of the heel. Starting from the corner of the heel, we're going to draw a straight line coming in. I'm going to curve this up and in behind the leg. Now let's move back up and draw on the upper arms. From the outside of the shoulder, I'm gonna curve around and just pull that in towards the elbow. From this point, I'm gonna curve in and up towards the armpit. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the armpit, curve down and then out. Now we're gonna curve in the opposite direction in towards the side of the shoulder. Now with the inside of the forearm, we're gonna do the same thing we did with the calf. So from this point, I'm gonna step in Round up the forearm, come in and then down. 
We'll take that and flip it over on the right. Curving in, out, and then down towards the wrist. Now from the wrist on the left side, we're gonna draw on the thumb. Curving in, and then down. We'll taper that back in towards the hand. Curving up. Now we're gonna draw two fingers coming down in the opposite direction. From here we're gonna come down and pull that in. Taper that back out and up. We'll draw one more finger. Curving around and in. Now we're gonna pull this up and towards the wrist. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Starting from the wrist, we'll curve in the thumb and then down. Taper that back up. Now we're gonna wrap the fingers around. Coming down and in. And one more finger. From the wrist, I'm gonna curve the outside of the arm coming in beside the upper arm. Go out and we'll pull that in. Now let's go in and separate out the claws. On the outside, we'll just draw a curve. And we'll do that to all the fingers. Now we're gonna connect the tips of the fingers with some webbing. Starting from the outside, we'll curve up and back down, and then in between these two points. From the outside of the wrist, we're gonna step down a straight line coming across towards the top first finger. Now from here we're going to curve up and in towards the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside of the wrist, we'll curve down and then go straight across. Now we're going to add the trim along the upper forearm. Starting from the outside, we're going to curve down and in. Angle down with a straight line and we'll continue that curve towards the inside of the arm. Let's take that and flip it over. Starting from the outside, curve down and in angle down and curve towards the inside of the forearm. Now we're going to add a fin to the outside of the arm. Starting from the elbow, curve out and then up. Now I'm going to pull this back in towards the side of the forearm. Curving out and then pulling that in. Let's take that and flip it over. Now let's add some angled lines in the fin. Starting from the outside, we'll come down at an angle, step down, and draw that one more time. We'll do the same thing on the right. And one final line, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Rip Jaws from Ben 10. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.